welcome back to my latest trapping video. We're going to be starting off with an attack from Jangu. He is a 544mm might uh, guy. He's sending uh, 225,000 tier 1 cav at me. He did not end up even going getting through my wall or even damaging my wall at all. So there was 0 HP uh, damage as my wall, but that's because he sent tier 1. It was a test or a march just to see if I actually had troops or not. I did have troops, so I guess he decided not to do a follow-up march. Um, but yeah, it, it did literally zero to damage to my wall, as you can see. There was zero damage done. He did actually, actually send up, eh, end up sending heroes, which is not actually normal for these tester marches. People forget to send those heroes. So you might notice something's a little weird on this one. I'm 109 million might here, so this is actually not my trap. This is my, uh, basically, uh, fake trap account. I'm scouting people, tile hitting, all that other stuff. Um, just trying to get people to hit me. Um, they poured next to me, decided to hit me. This guy's sending 375,000 HMB Sugar Swede. Um, he's quite large. He's got some good gear. Um, he's actually sending two attacks. I don't even think I have an anti on, actually. That could be possible. Let's, yeah. I don't think I actually run anti now, so he actually knows that I'm actually empty. He knows I have some resources, so he's going to go try and farm me. That's why he's sending a follow-up attack as well. Um, I think I don't have anti. Usually I don't run anti when this is happening. I might have an anti, but uh, he's sending two marches in. What's going to happen now? He's going to basically burn this castle. It actually has my traps leader in it right now. So um, once it burns the castle, my traps leader is going to start walking back to my base. As you can see, there my uh, my traps name SF uh, Foodwood or whatever. Oh, I think I have troops deployed. Oh, I I'm rallying. That's why. So I'm going to wait till the attacks hit me. Then I'm going to basically uh, disband the thing, random away. Uh, Restart the rally and then go over to my, to my trap account and see what we can ha see if I can catch uh, one of them actually hitting me. So uh, here comes actually a scout, um, same guy HMB Sugar Sugar Swede. He is now scouting me as my leader's <coughs> as my leader as my leader is walking back and uh, is going to see if um, he wants to actually attack me or not. So my leader's going to walk back. He obviously wants the leader. It's a level sixty leader, so he's going to port next to me here. So. Pretty decent gear here, mythic and uh, gold. I do not have my leader. I currently do not have my leader. So if he does decide to hit me, I will be taking his hit leaderless at this point. Uh, so if you are uh, going to attempt this trap, please make sure you can take a hit leaderless because it does happen all the time. So he's sending 375,000. No leader, but uh, full tier four at me. Uh, I do not have my leader at the time, so uh, this will actually be very easy for me. Uh, it won't be easy for most people, but um, it will be quite easy for me. As you can see, he only did 185,000. Um, took up my wall. Um, most of that actually was tier one, so it didn't really do that much damage. It was tier two. It probably would been half that damage. Um, but yeah, the tier one obviously reduces the healing and healing time. So it's only a five hour heal instead of like a 16 hour heal. So that's the reason I have the tier one in there. Um, you do take bigger hits or more damage, but it actually is less damage because tier one is cheaper to heal and, uh, takes a lot less time. So he's actually going to send a follow up, but it's a single troop march. So uh, that's the same guy. I think he knows what's going on. Um, oh, no, he's sending 200,000. I thought he was sending a single troop there. Um, sorry, he actually didn't know what was going on. So he's descended, end up sending a 200,000 uh, tester march. The other guy had given up after I took out his full tier 4 march. Um, he had decided not to send his leader, even though my leader is literally still walking back to my base. I do not have my leader. Uh, my leader is back now, but uh, when he actually had hit me, I didn't have my leader, so I guess he decided not to. So... Um, so uh, that's the same thing here. That's my uh, my alt again. They just released the leader and uh, or yeah. Oh, cause the, oh, I know what's happening. It was literally next to me. So what had happened is I had sat next to my uh, trap account in this one and um, basically just had a leader. So when they released the leader, it walks back to my trap account. So the guy is going to uh, decide to try and hit my trap account now because the leader just walked back. He just saw that and he sent uh, was it three seventy five thousand tier one actually. So it's a three hundred seventy five thousand tier one archers. Um, that didn't even get through my wall, it looks like, so, uh, I took zero damage on that one, apparently. <laughs> um, but yeah, he did take, he did get through my wall there, but, uh, he was, he was taken out shortly after that, and he is now scouting me to see what was going on, because he's probably very confused what was going on there. He's like, wait a minute, <laughs> I just, I burned the guy, and they send this, and it's like, what's going on? Because usually people think I'm an empty castle, because I don't have my leader. Um, a lot of times I'll be running Trickster here. Um, so yeah, my, my alt account was then, uh, same thing. Um, burned by the SGE Drunk Monk. Um, he's probably taking the whatever resources the, the Count has. It is a hyper farm, so it does have resources. So that's one, of the, that's one of the ways I get people to hit me, is I have, like, whatever, 12 million resources out. So the guy decided to port next to me. Actually, this is my own guild. Um, yeah, so sometimes this happens. Uh, uh, 
they don't know what's going on. Um, they'll see the leader walking back, and my own guild will actually hit me. Uh, a lot of times it's because I'm not reading the chat, because I will post in chat this is actually going on. Um, but a lot of times they won't read the chat, they'll just see the leader, and all of a sudden they'll port next to me and actually try and hit me. So, unfortunately for Ar Ar Arter, um, he didn't see the, uh, the post in chat, and he decided to port next to me and lose a bunch of tier 4 troops. Um, but yeah, so I will give his leader back, but I'll, I'll actually show you, um, <laughs> that I, I, I did, so <laughs> I actually posted it in, in chat here. See, I, I said, I'm releasing my leader, don't hit me, still has five minutes, if you hit me I will face palm, and then he still hit me. So, I, I did post in chat a bunch of times to tell him, do not hit me, and then, yeah, my guild is, is, uh, reaming him out after that, cause, uh, he, no, he was definitely not reading the chat, <laughs> cause, um, yeah. I, I, like I said, I do post in chat every single time I do this, so if my own guild is hitting me, it's their fault, it's not mine. They should, they should know better by this point, but um, unfortunately he didn't, and I will give his leader back, but I was just like, <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, I'm going to face palm, because, yeah, he, he, he is a quite big, uh, or quite big account too, so he should be reading the uh, chats, but anyways... Um, it happens, and I, I did end up giving his leader back. This is another one. I am in a different kingdom right now. Um, I am actually baiting a rally from uh, this guild. So this is actually the big clip of the day. This is the uh, the uh, full rally that's going to be happening on me. Um, this is during Wonder Wars. I am in DMB just uh, messing around. Um, basically, I, I know a bunch of people in DMB, so I, I, I jumped into their guild. I think we are in the same kingdom as them or something or whatever. It was No, it was a different kingdom. I just think I just poured to their kingdom and have some fun at one point because I like pouring these small kingdoms because then I can become a rally trap. Um, usually in the big kingdoms, you can't take rallies ever. Um, yeah, well, I mean, even rally traps have time taking these like Titan rallies and stuff like that, but uh, here comes the rally. It is full a full 2.3 million. It is a lot of tier 3, but there is a decent amount of tier 4 in there. I guess it's like uh, like two thirds uh, tier three and then one third tier four. It is full cabs, so I am taking full range reinforcements. I thought they were going to go cabs, so I think the guy was in cab gear, and I just they they're not a like what's called um, a big guild. Also, the guild I'm in is not very big, so I'm getting a bunch of tier three reinforcements. Unfortunately, if I had a bunch of tier four reinforcements, this would have been a really easy rally, but. As it is, this is going to be quite a hard rally for my solo trap to take as a it's a full rally with a leader. And there is tier 4 in the rally, and the leader is a tier 4 player. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't know why they're one-trooping me. It's it's kind of obvious with the thing. It was They're not, like, carpeting it. They don't need to one-troop me. I, I know what's going on here. So I'm just making sure my uh, everything's right. I'm in Cav Phalanx, not an Infantry Phalanx. You don't want to take a full Cav rally. This is actually one of the reasons why I un un unlocked Cav Phalanx, so I can actually take these rallies. So I'm going to actually throw on my 50% uh, boost because I don't want them to actually scout me before the rally hits and cancel. Um, it, it doesn't matter if they... Because I wasn't expecting to actually zero this full rally, but I did take out almost 1.8 million of it. Um, I was actually very close. Like I said, if I had full tier 4 reinforcements, it would have been really close to me actually uh, taking out the full rally instead of tier 3. But uh, yeah, I did end up uh, actually winning the rally. Didn't burn at all. Still have the leaders and stuff. Um, yeah, so... I did end up losing some troops, but that's totally fine. I, I'm totally fine with losing troops and a, a full rally like this. Um, cause I don't take it all the time, and I'll just rebuild them right away. And actually, I will show you me rebuilding the troops after this too, because a lot of times I forget to actually record the uh, the rebuild of the troops, but I'll actually rebuild or show you, because I have 248,000 gems right now. So it's uh, quite easy to actually yeah, rebuild these. So uh, I did I did end up uh, staying there. They did not... Did, didn't end up rallying me again because they uh, lost 750,000 dead troops in the in the first rally, and they're not a big guild, so uh, losing that many troops is a lot for these uh, smaller players, especially if they're Tier 3 and stuff. Um, a Tier 4 guild would have just rallied me again because they saw they lost troops, but they lost more troops, so um, if they were going to rally me again, I would have just boosted the troops right away. Um Actually, I, I did actually boost it while I was sitting here, I think. Um, but they're asking me, why did I take the Rally in Cav Phalanx? The reason I took the Rally in Cav Phalanx is because I'm not taking an Infantry Phalanx, and I don't even have a Range Phalanx uh, basically uh, researched, and I wouldn't be taking a Range anyways because that's Tier 1, and you don't want to take a Rally with Tier 1 Frontline. That would not go very well. Um, but yeah, even as it is, I only lost, uh, was it like 300,000 Tier 2? And the rest was Tier 1, actually. I still have my Tier 1 out there just to take some... Uh, some losses there because I knew I was going to lose troops, so I I'd rather lose the tier tier one than tier two. So yeah, I only lost three hundred fifty thousand tier two. 
Uh, not a big deal. And the reason I have Trickster on my wall is because I knew they were going Cavs, and I was taking full range reinforcements. It was all Tier 3, but it was still... Uh, it was still full full range, so I wanted an extra range hero on my wall, and I, that's my best third range hero. I have a green, like, uh, what's it called, uh, tracker, but uh, th that's obviously not as good as a purple trickster, just because the uh, squad damage does the most, especially with the squads being so large. The where 140% uh, squad damage is r a really big boost compared to the other ones. So here you go. Here I'm going to actually boost up the troops again. Uh, I've got the resources. Um... I've got it all out, and then I'm just going to basically just gem it up. Um, I have to actually make sure I actually have the uh, the gold out, because I, I keep forgetting Tier 2 actually takes the gold, because I don't I don't usually build too much of that, and I forget that it actually does require gold. But here I am. I'm just going to jam it up. I got 248,000 gems here, so I'm going to basically get my troops back up to they were, build the 350,000 I need, and then, uh, then I'll be back where I was. So just in case they wanted to rally me again, I'm actually totally okay for that. Um, and then I'm going to build some, uh, gladiators as well. Just, just because, just cause I'm in the talents right now, might as well. Um, I do have a bunch of speed ups, but, uh, gemming is much faster and I had way, I had a lot of gems, so I don't need that many gems. I only usually need around 150 to a hundred thousand gems just for gem healing. Uh, otherwise I can just use uh, speed ups and stuff like that for normal healing. And, and that's just in case I take a massive gangbang and I got to heal a bunch of times, but that hardly ever happens. So I make sure I at least have 100,000 gems out just so I can do that. And I make sure I have enough resources in my bags that I could actually heal up as well. So that that's the only reason there. So I kept around 145,000. Didn't, didn't need to build any more troops. Uh, the might I'm sitting at is good, 198 million. That's where I kind of like to sit around this might. Uh, 98 to 99 million ish. I want to stay under 100 million just because you look a little less scary if you're not in the three digit for some reason. People more likely hit you at 99 million than 100 million, even though it's literally the same. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys um, probably tomorrow for my next video. I will have a rally trap video coming out. I'm trying to get that uh, finished today. Um, I'll hopefully get that edited and everything. It takes a little while because it's someone else's video, so it takes me a little longer to do it. My own videos take much, much, much faster just because, first off, I know more about it, and um, yeah, it's just easier for me to edit it and all that because the aspect ratios are all the same and all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.